what the judge came down with today, the 28 page uh, in a summary. Merry Christmas. Buddy. Merry Christmas, Becky. Hey, I appreciate you. You said you said the ruling is it sets a dangerous precedent. You refuse to retract the article. You do it to raise money. I hope you use that quote. Merry Christmas. It's right here, yes. So then you, you feel like the ruling is, is sets a dangerous precedent, but Merry James O'Keefe in handcuffs, a journalism. You know, are you going to retract your article at all, or with the <laughs> with admitting the fact that you got the facts Merry wrong? Christmas. I know you got to raise money, yeah. man. No, that's not that's not family. that's not the issue. That's <laughs> never that's never the prerogative. But really, the music videos and stuff. Go, go, that's go, not go. that's branding. <laughs> I think it's funny too. I think it's funny too. The New York Times, in their original article, wrote that the law that Liban Muhammad was violating, well, the New York Times reported as fact in their original article, the New York Times reported there was a temporary suspension on the ban, that it wasn't illegal what Liban Muhammad was doing. However, in 104, the New York Times admits that the district court, quote, ruled a delay on the enforcement of the law. I mean, the New York Times refused to correct the article, but they're correcting the article in our lawsuit. Hello, Mr. Baquet. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a journalist of Project Veritas. Oh. So I just want to ask you a few questions on it. You know what? Yeah, I just, you know, no, you, you admitted in the court that, you know, you got the facts wrong, but yet you, you refused to retract the article. Why Merry, is that? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, sir. I'm not going to answer any questions. No. I know you guys need to do this to raise money. It's not the point. We're we're trying to we're just trying to get the truth out. You know, we just I just read the the what the judge came down with today. Just kind of holding the stay on our attorney uh, attorney privilege client memos. Will you be returning those and destroying those? Merry Christmas. Just have just have want to have a real just conversation. I don't. <laughs> we don't do this to raise money. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So you admitted that you got the facts wrong, yet you, you refuse to retract the article. You do it to raise money. No, I, hope you, I hope you use that quote. It's right here, yes. So then you, you feel like the ruling is, sets a dangerous precedent, but Merry James O'Keefe in handcuffs? A journalism? Many last comment, comment on the recent yeah, okay. rulings. I'm going to give you a Christmas hug, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I just hope we understand where we're at in history and how crucial yeah. this case is. I do. So, you know, are you going to retract your article at all, or with the with admitting the fact that you got the facts Merry wrong? Christmas. I know you got to raise money, yeah. man. No, that's not that's not family. that's not the issue. That's yeah. never that's never the prerogative. But really, the music videos and stuff. Go, go, that's go, not that's branding. James O'Keefe, who I think is a despicable <laughs> person. The judge. That's how you build the company. That's how you build something beautiful. Merry Christmas. They didn't call Liban Muhammad for comment, even though their ethics policy requires them to. They doubled down saying that all this stuff might be false, but it's just our opinion. They claimed that we were coordinated disinformation, but apparently engaged in coordinated disinformation because they did the thing they accused us of doing, namely embargoing material and receiving advanced copy material with their, with their friends who are opining about us. They had a pull quote in that print article saying that we presented no evidence of any illegal voter fraud, but when under oath, they admit that it was in fact illegal to harvest more than three ballots. Dean Baquet, I will depose you under oath. Do you understand? And you better get prepared for a jury trial, my friend, because there is no amount of money that you could give me to make me settle this case.